Joining us now is Chris Walmack, President External Affairs for Southern Company. And first of all, we couldn't have a better week right now at the Tour Championship. Weather is perfect. Neither one of us are sweating. Yeah. So far, setting up for a great week here in Atlanta. Well, welcome to Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, we brought the weather in just for great hospitality for all of our great guests <laughs> here in town. No, but what a great week we have in store. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to some great, great golf tomorrow. We've had a good few days leading up to the tournament uh, with the Payne Stewart Award. And for the first time this year, we had a big welcome to Atlanta party Monday night, uh, getting the community really involved. So it's been a great start to the week already. Before we talk about the community, let's talk about the Payne Stewart Award. It is always given to a recipient who really encompasses everything about growing the game of golf, giving back to the community. No better person to give it to then than, of course, the Big Easy. Ernie Els does so much to grow the game and also to give back in the community. No question. I mean, if uh, you had a chance to watch the show last night, watch the program last night, I mean, it just it brings tears to your eyes and just makes your heart skip a beat. I mean, it's just so emotionally engaging. I mean, and it says, okay, we love the sport of golf. But then you hear the story of Ernie Els as he talks about his life and his experience with golf. But then he connects it with Payne and what Payne Stewart did, how Payne Stewart impacted him. Mm -hmm. And the whole story that he went through, that he told, I think it was just phenomenal. And you're sitting there and there's Jordan Spieth. I mean, there are all the other guys sitting there listening to this. And I think it touches them to say, okay, yeah, we want to go play great golf, but we also want to do bigger and greater things also off the course. Yeah, the Hall of Famer, of course, has impacted so many, not only growing the game internationally, but yeah. with his L's for Autism, opening up the center yeah. that is going to really make an impact worldwide. For you, what's the one thing that you walked away from being most impressed about with the way Ernie L's carries himself off the course? Uh, Ernie's challenge to each and everybody in there to do what works for you. Mm. And, and I think as complicated as many issues that we face in society today, I think the simplistic direction in charge is you do something, I do something, we all do something that works for us, sure. we can make an incredible difference. You make a difference in Atlanta. You are really heavily involved with the East Lake community and giving back. You're on a bunch of boards to really impact Atlanta. So talk about why that's so important to you and how your involvement there really is a uh, kind of comes full circle with Southern Company. Well, personally, I mean, I know there were a number of people that helped me uh, be successful in life. And I learned very early that it's very, very important to give back. Mm. And so at the company, we talk a lot about being a citizen where we serve, making communities better because we're there, but also being a company that's bigger than its bottom line. Mm. I mean, so that's kind of how we run the company. That's kind of things that are important to me as I live my life. Mm. And so it's kind of natural and it's exciting and it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I tell the story about East Lake. I mean, East Lake was a, was a real, real tough place many, many years ago. I mean, you can hit a drive or a nine iron from some parts of the course and I mean there were shootings there were robberies I mean it was a very very difficult place and you look at it today and it's because of the investment of Tom Cousins and his leadership the work of the East Lake Foundation uh, that has turned this place around and I think it's a wonderful role model of how communities can be redeveloped and how communities can, can be different and how how we as individuals can make a difference and of course all of the money raised here at the tour championship is given back to the community as well to also help with those efforts. Yeah, no, it benefits the East Lake Foundation, which supports things like the Drew Charter School, uh, as well as the other elements, other things in the community, mm -hmm. from the East Lake Villages to other programs here in the neighborhood. And it all makes a difference. And I think the good thing about it is you can see the difference that, that it makes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I talked to players who have been here a number of years, and they pay attention to the improvements that they see year after year after year. Sure. And so, and I think that's that's what makes it so special to be here. They have, they have the Tour Championship here, the Super Bowl of Golf here in Atlanta. I mean, it just makes makes a lot of sense, and it's so very good to have it here at East Lake. When I saw you earlier in the clubhouse, I asked how your year was going. You asked how my year was going. I said, I can't complain with the year that we've had on the PGA yeah. Tour. These young guys are coming out doing big things yeah. week in and week out with Spieth, Day, Fowler, Rory. So I got to ask you, who do you think is going to win the FedEx Cup? And who's going to take it this week at Eastlake? I think it's going to be hard to beat Jason Day. I mean, I think Jason's on a great, great big role. I mean, the guy, I mean, I talked to him this morning and the confidence he has and, and the desire he has. Mm. And he said, I mean, he, after, the, uh, after the British Open, uh, 
few things just clicked and he just said, okay, I, I want to go do this and committed himself, but he had to put the work in. Sure. And he said he put the work in. And so he's he's got this drive now to win every tournament that he plays. Yeah. And so, I mean, as well as he's driving the ball, uh, well he's putting, well, every part of his game is just spot on. Now, I think he's going to be very, very competitive I mean, because Jordan hadn't played very well the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. So I think he loved to finish finish this year off in style. Uh, Rory took his break because of his injury. Uh, and then, and I mean, Bubba's excited. Yeah. And then, as always, Ricky Fowler. This is going to be fun. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be great, great, great golf uh, this weekend. And it's going to be very exciting. So I look forward to being a part of it. Oh, well, thank you so much for being a part of this week. It's always great to talk to you, catch up with you. And uh, if you win this week, my, my fantasy picks haven't been very good. So I may be calling you for some tips next season. Great, great. Amanda, <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank you.